They say Hokkaido is Japan's winter wonderland, and I'm on a mission to find the most fun things to do during this season, or so I thought. <laughs> My name is Michelle, you're watching Tokyo Pass 3, and this is Winter in Hokkaido Part 2. Today's adventure starts in a bus ride to Barata River, which is around 40 minutes away from Sapporo. If I look like I'm contemplating my life choices, that's because I am. I have zero experience in fishing whatsoever, and yet I thought it would be a good idea to try it. In the goddamn cold for some reason. Once we've made our way to the frozen river, our guide briefed us on how to fish wakasagi or smelt. Can somebody remind me why I thought this was a good idea? Nope. With my anxiety cranked up to a 10, I proceeded to my tent where I would fish for the rest of the morning. I thought I was going to be like the other groups and I was like really shy because, you know, I'm alone, but well, this works. I have the whole tent to myself. I can film shamelessly. <laughs> I'm really out of my league here, but I'm going to try. After taking forever to hook the bait, I began fishing, not really expecting to catch any. Come on, sakana. Come on, kasagi. It wasn't after the guide checked up on me that I actually got some action. <laughs> I think you really have to be patient and not just like talk and really pay attention to what's happening to your line. I think that's what got it. I still have a little bit of bait, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try. <laughs> okay, alright, I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> but then here comes the tricky part. I have conveniently forgotten that I do not like touching live fish. Thankfully, the staff came to help me out. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, it's this skirming, but also the fact that I know that it's alive and desperate to live that's doing numbers on my brain. And it's not like I'm gonna stop eating fish anytime soon. I just don't like that I'm directly responsible for killing it. Yeah, I know that sounds hypocritical. <laughs> I can fish, but I can take it off my In the end, I was able to catch four, but I wasn't able to unhook any myself. Once we were done, the staff made tempura out of the fish we caught, and we all ate some. We had lunch at the restaurant across the river, and ice fishing was officially off my bucket list. Back on the go for today's second destination, Otaru. 
Otaru is a port town with a beautiful canal and historic buildings that exude a nostalgic feel. If you love walking, this town is a joy to explore. It's beautiful all year round, but the last time I came here, it was springtime, so I was excited to see it blanketed in snow. And by that, I mean heaps of snow. A visit to Otaru is not complete without seeing the canal. You can simply walk along the banks, but I recommend riding the 40-minute canal cruise for a unique vantage point. The boatman talks in Japanese, but audio guides are available in several languages. I learned a lot about the town just by going on the cruise, so much so that I wanted to write a page about it on the Tokyo Pass 3 website right away. It's not there yet, but it's coming soon. While exploring the town, I found a shop that sells uni or sea urchin ice cream. It was, uh, bizarre, let's just put it that way. I wash it down with Hokkaido's very own miso butter, corn ramen, and both my taste buds and tubby thank me for it. Otaru has a winter festival of its own where you can see snow lanterns light up the town, but my travel dates didn't match so I wasn't able to catch it. Perhaps next time. And that's a wrap for day two. You know, it's funny how every time winter is about to come, I just think of how miserably cold I'll be. And I keep forgetting how it's so much fun to be playing in winter, actually, to be traveling around and doing all these activities that you can only do when there's snow. So I hope these videos give you some inspiration of what you can do in winter in Japan, especially in Hokkaido. But for now, that'll be it. And I'll see you hopefully on day three. This has been Michelle for Tokyo Pass 3. Bye!